Hello AI world, this is Suresh and today we will learn about HPT hyperparameter tuning with Raytune. So a lot of people requested to me give some getting start with Raytune. So today this is the first tutorial of the hyperparameter tuning and uh, we will do HPT with Raytune. So, uh, so we will know that anything whatever we require for example uh, generally the programming language I am talking about this is uh, Python and any new package we want to learn then we have to install that package and we have to know about the frameworks all things so today we will go through about how to install and how to quick start with Raytune uh, for that uh, just I will brief about the Raytune website so you can go through the Raytune websites and they will show you here are they also how to install how to quick start quick starts all the example is there you you can go through the document also and here I'm explaining the particular example how it works how to visualize and how uh, select the different kind of HPT uh, algorithms so these all things I will talk about today so first I will go to quick start how to install that for installation we required uh, just pip install so uh, I'm just doing the pip install so this already installed so it will showing requirement is already installed then if already installed that's okay if not installed it will install all the requirements then uh, I will go through the quick start how we can do so if you familiar about deep learning and machine learning concepts and for that we required major uh, two things first like trainable algorithms that call network second is a uh, uh, hyperparameter list of parameter that we need to do so here like uh, here generally what we will do we we just use already tuned the parameter but here the goal is we have to tune the parameter here so this objective function that called networks and we create a training function training function called the objective function objective means your network function so here a basic simple example written simple step example for taking the uh, HPT algorithms HPT parameters and it works so here the trainable functions just call the objective function and getting the score and after getting the score just the ray tune it will take the uh, it will create the refit for particular every particular steps so here is steps uh, we taking what log for example 10 steps steps here generally we launch the training then in training week how many attrition we have to run that training so basically start with so this is the demo example that's we start with 10 steps yeah the second the major part i will talk about it here, why raytune here use here so major things for raytune like we have to tune the hyperparameter so there are two hyperparameter we are taking first is alpha second is beta and this is the list of hyper list of hyperparameter so here we can take range also yeah we can pass the list also so this tune dot grid it will select the particular uh, parameter for example 001 yeah, 01 whatever uh, parameter it will select to that's the call searching algorithm similar for beta that called choice one two three so it will take choice of one so that's internally all already built the grid sets or pbt the lot of hyperparameter search algorithms available in raytune so you can use just a calling a function like dot cursor dot pbt dot like Gaussian pyramid functions, a lot of other also examples will be there. But this is the basic hello world example of that hyperparameter. Yeah. So about this, yeah, this is the config I'm talking about. This config you have to pass here in this. So major function is that called ray dot tune dot run. So we import here ray tune and tune dot run. It will start the running the hyperparameter tuning and in different uh it will internally like uh, i will take i will talk about later about how to internally distributed uh distributed the load across the cpus across the gpus i will take i will talk about later in the next sessions but right now it will it will take so i will 
show the brief example here how to so you will visualize you will do the visualization also yeah so the ray tune dot run function there are two parameter one first is the trainable function so we just pass a trainable function and pass the config then it will start the train it will start and then the analytic analysis function we will take and the here we just printing the best config like which best config uh, which which best results we are getting here we are printing here and uh, like if you want to do convert take in the data frame also that's also possibility here so we'll run here so it it, it starts the tuning and after whenever it will complete it will print the results so here red tune dashboard if you click on the dashboard so we'll go the red tune dashboard it will show the uh live feud how it's working of the dashboard and then it will show the results here so generally how many memory consumptions like my laptop memory is 16 gb memory and 12 core cpus and this is the log dir and uh, uh yeah and how many uh there are uh, we we are taking the like grid search so in generally we are passing the three list of this parameter right so there are running major three trials like three into three three trials like trial number one trial number two trial number three and these are results of the trials and uh, these are results like for particular trial what will be the loss here loss 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 so we are getting like third number of functions they are with loss is 9.3 and iteration is 10 total time is 1.25 and negative loss is similar like this is the positive loss and this is negative loss and we want to like visualize the all the results for example we want to visualize uh, there are three uh worker running three trial running so we will we can visualize all things in the tensor board also so i'm just running the tensor board and after running the TensorFlow, TensorFlow is already running here. Uh, just I am refreshing here. It will take the new launching things. So still holding. Why it's holding? Because of I think TensorFlow is yeah right now right now running. So running on this six six zero zero right now running the TensorFlow right you can see you can visualize all the parameters all things in single place so TensorFlow will take so the scalar values and hedge params so both are visualization here so for example uh, beta value this alpha value this al and alpha value this and the mean loss and time this iterations and all, all things like steps so if you I click here so it will show the results for per iterations per loss and that is called result of params for example here it will show the results here so for example trainable function so all things we can visualize using the tensor board it will show the complete like smooth value values and steps which steps are getting which results so then we can visualize you can see what happening inside the training and which which hyperparameter is the best so uh, uh, this is the good and the uh, i think tensor board is a good for visualizations what happening inside so yeah so this is the basic uh, getting started how to we can start with the right tune library uh, so and uh, this is taking the very few minimalistic example i am taking because this objective function is no use but for explanation purpose i use and next tutorial we will take any the real time example like for image you have video use case image use case your voice use case so next time we will, we will do yeah so uh, so i am just requesting don't forget the next tutorial because uh, that tutorial is very uh realistics in the world like we will take the good example how to tune the hyperparameter with for image and video use case like with classification detections all the use cases okay thank you thank you for watching the video